pizza. Not gonna ask for help? Reinforcements! Watch out! Spectre possession! Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Yes, still disgusting. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. I should order the ghost to appear now. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. Beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I?
We thought he'd acted willfully, planned it. Tell the truth, we thought I'm a liar. No. Jacob is a kind and godly man. Pure and true, always. He's the very best of us. And yet, though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking. Because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth, to accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business and no one else's. So tell me, banisher, what did we do to deserve this? I'm sorry. Despair can drive a good man to a bad place. God only visits hardship upon us because he knows we can bear it. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed, we got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Yes, still disgusting. Yes, still disgusting. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Day after day, you walk hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. 
That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. If there's a monster here, Jacob, it's you. Speak. Cast off your guilt. Then we'll see what can be done about the shame. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry. So angry. He kept pushing me. We kept. We argued. And I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me. Him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I fail God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. <sighs> Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me.
took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. That man killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. We made the right choice. We made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. Right. 
That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. 